Girardelli, professional basketball player. And my next tip, post defense. Now everybody has to guard the post once in a while. If they somehow get switched on a, a taller guy through transition, through screen and roll. So I'm gonna give you guys a tip to be at your best when you're down here in the post. First, we're gonna have David come out here and help me out. Depending on if you're smaller or taller than your offensive player, we're gonna have you come here, you're gonna be posted up. And you post it up. First thing you don't want to do, especially when you're in elementary, junior high, is putting your hands on him. Doing this when he when he goes to dribble, dribble, they will call a foul. So what I like to do, since I'm a little bit taller and stronger than David in the post, I would use my body. And my body, I'm always forcing my man to the baseline side. So when he's dribbling the ball, I'm using my body to force him to the baseline. If he comes back middle, I'm right here. I'm cutting off half the floor, so I'm making him only go one way. So it happens, if he somehow he does beat me, my other defenders on the court know where the help's coming from. Another time, when David goes up for a shot, I'm already right here because my, my chest is on his back. So when David works on his moves, his fadeaway, my hands are right there. Are you good? Are you good? If David was stronger than me and taller than me, how would I guard him? So if David was taller than me, I'm going to get lower. I'm going to have my hand right here, one hand on him, dribble. I'm trying to get low because the lower I get, I can use for my legs and the stronger I can. So if I'm getting lower and he's been, I can use my whole body to try to push him out. And now when he goes to shoot a jump shot, I do my best just to contest and put my hand over his face. I try to do it with Kobe. It didn't work so well, but hopefully with somebody else it can. So when you go in there, you're defending. If you're smaller, you want to get lower than the defender, body. And when he goes up for a shot, putting a hand right in his face. Now on the other side, I'm going to use Martin. Come on, Martin. The same thing goes from the right side. I'm not going to put my hands on him because that's a foul. I'm going to use my body while he's dribbling the ball. Dribble the ball. I'm going to be using my body, forcing him to go baseline. If he goes baseline, go up there. I'm right here. If he goes up for a shot, since I'm taller here and bigger than him, I'm putting my hand straight up without fouling. Okay. If I'm smaller than Martin and he's dribbling it, I'm getting low. Go ahead, dribble. Getting low. And I'm trying to push him out using my legs. And every time he goes up for a shot, shoot, I'm putting my hand right in his face so he has trouble. Be key don't to hit someone because you'll be called for a foul. So, keys on, no hands, getting low, and contesting a shot without fouling. Go ahead. Boom. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So in the post, you have a couple tips you have to remember. If you're taller and stronger than the person posting up, you want to cut off one side. So usually you cut off the middle and force baseline to your help. You try to use your size as an advantage, so being big, being wide, and putting your hands up as high as you can when he shoots the shot. If you're smaller than the person you're guarding to, which nine times out of ten you are, the lower you get and pushing them out with your arm, is the stronger you will be with your base. So go home, lift some weight, get stronger so you can guard the post. <laughs>